a Western Conference rival. The San Antonio Spurs are ready for this thing to get started. And as we start the weekend here on this Friday night, 2K Sports welcoming you to NBA Basketball. With Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Coming in off the road, the Pelicans are back in New Orleans for this one. Well, it's been something of a disaster for them since the start of the season. They have just one win and continue to tally losses. And you know, for the Pelicans, this has been a terrible way for them to kick off their year. They have to find a way to get back on track soon before this season gets away from them. Greg, it's really surprising to me to see them fighting just to stay afloat this early in the season. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. The always reliable Parker and Green in the backcourt. Kawhi Leonard is out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Duncan in its center. Now here's Davis. G kicks to Davis. Pass to G. New Orleans moving the ball around. Offensive rebound. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Pass to G. He feeds it to Asha. He dishes it to G. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Offensively, one of four to start. They're still trying to find their stroke. And for LaMarcus Aldridge, always praised for his terrific shooting, his rebounding, as we know, Greg, has always been fantastic. Over the past two seasons, he's averaged double-digit boards. And that's why so many teams wanted him in this last free agency period. His ability to put points on the board, as well as clean the boards, what a deadly combination. Oh, man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Right wing, here's G. That's now four misses on their first five attempts. Still trying to find a rhythm and flow here offensively. Here's Parker. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. You know, on the topic of Aldridge's rebounding, I mean, he doesn't do it by banging people around. He does it with positioning, timing, and length. And you can say that about most of his game. Quietly, effective, and impactful. Davis kicks to Gordon. Back to Davis. And stolen by Aldridge. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked. Really strong and together. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. And guys, going back to Aldridge, last season was a difficult one for him. He had the torn ligament in his left thumb, but still fought through it to become the Blazers' all-time leader in rebound. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. And it's a tough game to lose. I mean, they actually put up a pretty solid effort, I thought. But when you're battling for a road win, even when you play hard, nothing's guaranteed. Well, Greg, I think you've got to try to convert the positives. Take them into the, mom into the momentum of your next game and use them for momentum. And then um, take what you did well and double down the effort here tonight. And so it's New Orleans with it after the basket by San Antonio. G with the rebound. 
And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. Duncan with the screen on Holiday. Parker drives in, and it's Parker again missing. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. You know, you take a look at this group of Spurs, and you wonder if they've peaked. I mean, it seems you say that a lot with this team, and they prove you wrong. What Popovich said last year, he feels it might actually be the case. And that one's good. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Pelicans trail by four. Gordon with it. Now Green defending. Three on three. The reverse. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And so last season for Tony Parker, somewhat of a shift. I mean, he was solid, but injuries cost him a few games. He also had his lowest assist and points per game totals since his rookie year. But, but he fought through like the champion that he is. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Alexis Ajinsa has checked in for Ash. Anderson comes in for Anthony Davis. Ante Cunningham's checked in for G. And Smith subbed in for Drew Holiday. And let's take a moment to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. Number one, the Spurs. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. And that one's good. Last year, a big challenge for Tony Parker. He was in his 14th season, obviously. Every great player needs to transform his game as he gets on an age. Clark, we've seen it with the great ones. Parker did put up the highest three-point percentage of his career last year. And he also ran the offense with tremendous poise and professionalism and cut down the turnover average as well, the lowest of his career. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. David West, he's checked in for the Spurs. Sewell Butler comes in for Parker. Before getting dinged up, Brian Anderson was rolling. I mean, over the first few seasons of his career, improved in efficiency in all areas. Then he had the back injury, and last season his shooting percentages really went south. Here's Diaw, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And getting back to Ryan Anderson, in 2012, he won the NBA's Most Improved Player Award. Then, in the summer of that year, he landed an enormous contract in a sign and trade. Yeah, and that's the good Ryan Anderson. If he can stay healthy, he's a tremendous asset, and he isn't just a shooter. He can get it done on the backboard as well. Now, here's Gordon. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Boy, was he physical. I mean, in that game, just drawing a lot of contact and getting himself to the line over and over. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And if that doesn't get him fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered us, some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Tell you what, fellas, that could give them the energy boost they've been looking for. Now, here's Gia, currently averaging almost six points a game. Back to West. It's stolen by Ajinsa. Leonard with the steal. Five on three break. Here's Mills. That one a little long. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. The drive by Gordon. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Six points for Eric Gordon. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Feeds it to Leonard. And he jams it with authority. Oh, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. And, guys, that swagger can backfire because you don't want to get your opponent a little too riled up. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's San Antonio leading by seven. From New Orleans, back in a moment.
Spurs head coach Greg Popovich, very demanding. Throughout the years, he was hardest on it. My first three, four years, it was tough sometimes. Sometimes, like, eyes watered. I was, like, really angry, and it was tough at times. Definitely, like, very Even though it seems like that was a very long time ago now, to hear Tony Parker talk about it now, it still sounds very fresh to him. Did he acknowledge, Kevin, that he cried? It sounds like, it yeah. made, The game made him cry. That's one of the things fans forget about mm. with professional athletes. No matter how successful they get, players never forget that pain and frustration or those other emotions they've gone through to help get them to where they are. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. That mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point, fellas. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. On the floor for San Antonio, they've got Duncan. Aldridge out there with Green. Then it's Tony Parker. And it's Mills in at the two-guard spot. Last year, the Pelicans, Greg, pushed their way into the postseason. It was a neck-and-neck -neck battle for that number eight spot, as you recall, with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And how about the excitement down the stretch? They, oh. they were able to edge out the Thunder and, and Russell Westbrook on that just point binge down the stretch there. And what a final day that was. It, a big, huge win over the Spurs. Let them get into the postseason for the first time under the Pelican moniker. Here's Davis. Duncan with the block. And they're able to recover. Outside for Davis. New Orleans moving it around. Babbitt dishes to Ash. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Green. And it's Omer Ashik with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Patty Mills. Parker left side. Pass to Aldridge. Puts it up from 12. The shot is off. Great D that time from Davis. Pelicans trail by seven. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Here are the Spurs with the ball. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. You know, they played well enough to win. But to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Parker with it. He's coming off a 25-point game against Denver. And he also was a table setter in that game, Kevin. Just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And guys, for most of his career, Ostrick has been going back and forth as a starting center. Only started two games his first two years with the Bulls. Signed an offer sheet with the Rockets and started 82 games for them in his third season. Here's Holiday. He has seven to the inside. Here's Davis. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Spurs leading by four. Well, going back to Asha, he lost his starting job to Dwight Howard in his fourth season. He was in Houston, so he didn't want to come back uh, and have his career labeled as a guy coming off the bench. So, Greg, he reportedly asked to be traded, and that's what he got. Well, and, and, and you know what? The Rockets shipped him off to the Pelicans in, in exchange for a protected first-round pick, and he became a starter again. M moral of the story, don't put <laughs> Omer on the bench. He won't like it. San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And we all know Drew Holiday is a tremendous talent. That's why he was traded for the draft picks that became Nerland's Noel two years ago and Alfred Payton last season. Such impressive company that Holiday may be feeling the pressure to live up to it.
a platoon swap here for New Orleans. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. West is checked in for Duncan. Diaw comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Leonard, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. And Rasul Butler subbed in for Green. Botches the slam dunk finish. You rarely see him missing dunks, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. Getting back to Holiday, we've seen the size, the court awareness, the change of pace moves he brings. Clark with a little more assertiveness and continued improvement on his jump shot. He'd be hard for anyone to keep up with. Well, I really like this young man's game. He's got tremendous natural ability and a great work ethic. I think he'd very well be one of the best guards in the league. Only 25 years old right now. Plenty of time to reach that potential. Ahead, Diaw, the pass to Butler, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. And while we've got a chance, let's check out the stats for Smith. He's around 10 points per game, seven assists, and three rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every train needs a conductor, man. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. New Orleans is still a relatively young team, but they play with the maturity, I think, Clark, that's beyond their years. You know, Kevin, the average age for them last year was just over 25 years old, and the youngest team in the West, actually, to make it to the playoffs last year. Shots good from West. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Pelicans trail by seven. And here's Smith looking for his first basket still in this one. So the wing on the left. Cunningham kicks to Anderson. Now Parker, right side, Butler lets it go from 11. Rebound by Agensa. And for the Pelicans, part of why they look so mature is how they protect leads. I mean, rarely giving away points for free and knowing how to close out game. And Boris Diaw picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Spurs making a switch here. Mills is checked in. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. 